Hi everyone, welcome back. Oh. Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited about today's video because we are doing a living room makeover for one of my good friends, Jordan. Now, I've actually known Jordan for years. He was one of the first people that I met when I moved to Los Angeles. We ended up going to school together, and he always asked me if whenever he moved to his new apartment, because he was in his old one for a long period of time, whenever he moved, if I would do his living room at his new place. And when he showed me some photos of the space, I was like, I would love to make this over. And something fun about this video is actually a majority of the living room is actually thrifted finds which is really fun a lot that I found in the past that you guys have seen me share in past thrift hauls and also I went out thrifting a bunch for this video Jordan himself has a really really eclectic style he's always changing up his hair he's always changing up his outfits I'm gonna pop some photos up of him right here so you guys can get kind of a visual and overall I feel like he definitely is one that would love a really really unique space and I want to go all out in this use like an accent color I've never used before and just make it a moody, lovely little escape. So let's go ahead and dive on in. I pulled a few inspo images for this space, but because I am gonna be thrifting quite a bit, I didn't exactly know what I'll be able to find, of course. So these were more for placement of furniture, styles of pieces that I'm looking for, color tones, patterns, and textures. And I just loved these images, and these are the ones that I actually sent over to Jordan just to kind of get his thoughts and ideas on the space design before I started with it. And then I mocked up like kind of a preliminary mood board, which just had the sofa on it, the coffee table that he already owned, a chair I found the thrift store and then a rug but there's going to be so much more so stay tuned these are the thrift finds I have collected so far. I got all four of these at the same thrift store and I spent $152 on all four pieces. I believe this one was $39. I think the chair was $59 and I think this was $39 as well. And then this was whatever those add up to and was left was the lamp. So these are our pieces and I'm very, very happy about them. I'm going to move these three to the side because what I want to actually work on today is this chair. So I want to give you guys a little rundown on this chair. When I got it, it actually had these two Two cushions which look a lot different now I had them recovered which was super nice because it only cost me a hundred dollars to have both of the cushions recovered I think it was 120 and I just didn't want to have to cover them myself and match up the grid pattern so I picked this fabric out had them covered at a local shop here in LA which I'll pop up on the screen for you guys because they are absolutely amazing and these are gonna be the cushions for our chair now what I'm also gonna need to do is rewrap the arms and the bottom base here but I do want to paint it first so that is what we are going to work on now now the first thing I wanted to do with this chair was prep it for the spray painting portion. So I took off the bottom seat that was upholstered or the bottom section that was upholstered and then I used a little bit of wood glue to reattach the arms to the base. I couldn't find like an area that I can add a screw or anything where it would be a bit more secure. So I just used some wood glue that I had and then I also gave the piece a wipe down prior to using this universal bonding primer that I found at Lowe's and it said that it bonds to absolutely everything. So I was like, I'm going to give this a try and use this primer on this piece that way I don't off to sand it or anything and for the paint I actually found this high performance enamel in the high gloss black and I will say this spray paint was the most opaque black spray paint I've ever used I found this at Lowe's as well I'll link below the exact one for you guys if you want to pick it up because it worked really really well for this chair and while that was drying outside I brought the piece back inside and I actually bought a yard and a half of extra fabric from the fabric store that up reupholstered the seats for me that way I can cover the arms myself and this little bottom section of the chair as as well so all I did was kept the original fabric there I figured you know what it's gonna add a little bit of extra cushion no worries and I just rewrapped this on because the other one was professionally finished and I didn't want to have to undo it so I just wrapped this around all of the edges cut up into the corners as I knew the legs were gonna kind of like snugly fit around the corner anyways used a staple gun to staple it all the way down cut off the extra fabric and that was just a quick and simple little reupholstery that I did on this bottom section here We're on the way to the thrift store. Um, I just finished spraying the chair and I figured for the rest of the day I would go look for a couple more things at the thrift store just because everything I've gotten so far has been from the thrift store besides the sofa and the rug and I kind of want to continue that. So I'm thinking of just going back to a couple more thrift stores at the moment. Marie's with me. We're gonna go look around and see if we can find anything.
so I'm very aware that I'm not here shopping for myself. Well, I mean, I am. I could shop for myself, you guys, but I am looking for Jordan space. Now, I came across this beautiful hutch, which this would be for my space, potentially. It's so pretty, it's $1.99. And then look at this desk. Look at the detail on like the leg. The drawers, the poles, like it's so, so pretty. And it has like a little bit of rattan in the top. I love this. And this one is $249, but it would be 25% off. And in case you need a little rustic crib moment, this buffet here is also so pretty. I love this piece as well. I'm not having the best luck with finding pieces for Jordan's place, but I am having good luck finding pieces for my new house, which I guess it's fine, but I am here looking for his place and I just cannot find anything that I'm looking for. I need some decor, some accents, a light fixture, a floor lamp, and some stools. But I can't find anything. At the last location, guys, for today, out of the closet superstore. how great this dresser is. French Provencial, look how pretty the colors are in this globe. It's $12, I think I'm gonna grab that just as a decor piece. It is day one over at Jordan's apartment. Now my voice is still a little bit gone, but we are going to take our first look at the apartment. This is both of our first times seeing, oh my gosh. That arch is beautiful, look how big it is. I love how the dining room is right through there. And then we have kind of like this little fireplace pop out situation, but doesn't have an actual fireplace on it. And then there are three windows over here. So it's actually like a pretty large living room. And the only furniture that they had previously was the coffee table. It's like a tessellated stone vintage coffee table. And Jordan was like, I'm doing all new furniture in my place, but I'm keeping the vintage coffee table, which is definitely a good choice. Now, as you guys can see over here, the all form couch has arrived, which is the sponsor of today's video. And we also have the rug, which is great. I'm glad that it's up here because it is a big one. And we're gonna roll that out as well and then figure out the design plan in here. Here is our rug, you guys, which I love. This is a Laloy rug, um, a Chris Loves Julia X Laloy rug. And I've always, always been wanting to use this rug. And they had a humongous Prime Day deal on it. And I was like, okay, we're getting this. It's gonna be a huge rug in here. And it's so pretty. It's a nine by 12. This is the largest rug I've ever worked with, actually. You guys have heard me rave about my Helix mattress so many times on the channel, but their sister company, Allform, actually sells sofas and chairs at such reasonable price points shipped directly to your door. They are modular. There are so many different size options, fabric options. Like, if you're in the market for a sofa, you guys, Allform is the place to check out first because the pieces are shipped directly to your door in a box like this. And yes, you do have to set them up, but let me tell you that this only took me 15 minutes to set up the entire sofa, and there are absolutely no tools required at all, so it's extremely simple and easy, which we love. And there are over 500 different customizable combinations that you can actually put together to create your very own sofa or chair. And I love how big they come as well. Like if you have a large living room that you want to fill out, or let's say you have a small living room now, but you know you're moving to a larger one later, you can always just purchase additional like modular pieces to add to your sofa. So you're always able to customize that size to fit the space you're living in. So for Jordan's space, I wanted to do something dark as the base and I thought the black leather was absolutely perfect. It is such a stunning sofa. Once I had this together, I was like, you guys, I might need one of these in my home as well. Uh, I connected all of the legs. I chose the walnut option just for a little bit of a darker wood tone. And then I popped on all of the cushions and the back cushions as well. And they might look a little wrinkled, but do not worry because they totally smoothed out by the end of the makeover, which was just a couple days. I always feel like leather looks better as like lived in as well. So if you would like to get 20% off of your all form sofa option, whichever one you would like, make sure to use my link in the description box below. Uh -oh, uh... Hey. I'm gonna quickly go run to my car and grab the chair that we've been DIYing because that's gonna go on the opposite side of the coffee table and I really wanna get those cushions in here to see kind of the colors that we're working with. There is our chair, you guys, or the base of the chair, and it looks like a perfect fit or like a nice size for this area. 
That is so cool. This is my first ever piece of custom upholstery. I still have to wrap the arms, by the way, which I think I'm gonna do that right now so we can get the full vibe of this piece, but it's perfect. I actually haven't sat in it either. Uh, oh, uh, it's nice, I love it, it's perfect. Such a cool accent. To completely finish off this chair, I did have some extra fabric that I covered the armrests with, which I just wrapped them around on the front and back, and then I stapled on the underside and just cut off the extra fabric. Should I just reupholster things for a living? Yeah. All right guys, so here is where we are at and what I'm going to do next, which was something I was kind of contemplating, is I'm going to do the window trim black because we have a lot of black going on in here and it's really stark white throughout. So I really think kind of transferring some of the black up to these windows will be nice. And the windows too are really pretty because they're just very dainty. And I think I'm gonna do like the black around here, the thin little kind of cross sections and just keep it super simple, but just have them more as like almost artwork on the wall. I think it's just going to really frame out the windows. last night. I actually did a bunch of shopping last night, but I left my vlog camera at the apartment here, so I couldn't film any of it, sadly. I got two different panel options. So the first one here is like more of a simple one, and then the second one here is more of a statement one, and it's like a velvet with a stripe in it. And this one just seems fun. I love the color of it as well. It's like a rusty orange, which would kind of go with our chair over there. So I'm going to have to decide which, and then I also got a couple of rods as well. So we're going to start by hanging the curtains. These are the two curtain options that we have. The first is this one, which is more simple. It's just like a kind of a flowy simple curtain. This one will probably go around here and then have some pleats in it. Or we have this more statementy one that's kind of fun and has some lines in it. I love how Ikea sells their curtain rods in like a mix and match style. So you can purchase the rod separately from the finial, separately from the brackets to really like build your own customizable curtains. And I also love how they have a rod long enough to stretch across this entire living room. And that's exactly what I used in here. Look at these curtains. How insane does this make this room look? I absolutely love them. Basically what I got from Ikea was the really long skinny rod. This is a skinnier one because I thought it would look really pretty and kind of dainty. And then our curtains are just really bold. They're like a nice velvet fabric and they have this line in them. I don't know if you can really see, but it's like a rusty orange color and I still need to steam them, but they make the room look so much bigger. I love these and they're all from Ikea, the rods and the curtains. I ended up going through Jordan's room and I found a hat. Anyways, I'm going to now change the sconces and I actually have two options. Let me grab them. Here are two sconce options. I got both of these from Amazon. So this first one is like a brass plate with a kind of ball on it and I think it could probably go either way. I feel like I'd like it more on the bottom though. And then the other one is this green glass one, which this is the one I had on the mood board the entire time which also could be fun. But I'm kind of leaning a little bit more towards this one because I feel like it just makes sense as like a light source over here to disperse the light. This more is like directed at something. I think I'm gonna go with these.
boxes are up, curtains are hung, rugs down, couch from all form is here. And this morning, I actually had Marie go and pick up two of these little stools that I found on OfferUp last night because I needed another seating section for this side and I really wanted them to be lower. I didn't want them to be high to block like all the furniture and stuff, so I found these. I found two of these really cute turned wood stools with woven tops on them and I found these on offer up. The lady ended up selling them to me for $180 for both, which I thought was a pretty decent deal because yesterday I actually picked up some little Target ottomans that I was going to put here and I didn't love them and they were $115 a piece. So this was better. They are vintage and they definitely have a better vibe to them. So I'm going to pop both of them just right here and they're just going to act as little seats. So you can like, you know, interact with everybody, sit down, and they're easy to move around as well. So if you wanted to move them, you could. And I also feel like these add like a nice little wood detail with the turned legs, and I love the depth of the wood color. It is time for a DIY project. So what I did was this morning I picked up this piece of wood here, and this is a live edge piece of wood from Lowe's. These are $99. I actually had no idea that they sold these, but it's uh, six feet long by I think like 20 inches wide. And I have had these. I don't know if you guys remember, but I shared these in a thrift haul. I found these sawhorses and I loved them. They were $8 a piece from Goodwill, and I thought I can use them as legs in the future for a project. I never got around to it, but I thought they'd look great great in here. So what I want to do is actually use these as like the legs to the media console and then pop this wood piece on top and then stain the top of it with a darker wood stain. So that is my idea. So let's see if that works out. Look how good that looks as a little console under the TV. That was such a makeshift idea because I didn't have anything for under there, uh, but I knew I had the sawhorses. So this was like an idea I had, but I love it. I'm going to go ahead and stain the wood darker and the wood's pretty heavy. So I'm not even going to drill it in or anything. I'm just going to leave it as is because what's going on top of here is just like a couple of decor pieces probably. And then we're going to do a darker stain and I have some baskets to pop underneath as well. The stain that I used for this piece was called Kona by Rustoleum, and oh my gosh, it looked amazing. I loved how the grain shined through on the wood. It looks like a high-end, expensive piece of furniture. So I made my way outside and I brought the pillar that I got from the thrift store with me and I'm going to be using this spray paint here. This is forged hammered burnished amber spray paint by Rust-Oleum. It's my favorite one. I use this all the time. I've never used it in a larger scale like a piece of furniture, normally just decor. So we'll see how it looks. Hello everybody, good afternoon. We're starting today a little bit later and that's because this morning I actually uploaded the Roger apartment video, which was so much fun. And then I headed right over here and picked up this lovely fiddle leaf fig on the way. Now something that's exciting is this paper lantern here I actually ordered last minute from Amazon because I actually ordered a different one from Hey Design. Who, I don't know if they originated the paper lantern, but everyone gets theirs from there. And I got like an oblique shape, which is more of an oval. And I waited a month for it. And it finally got here today. So we're actually gonna swap it out. Um, so let's do that quickly. Okay, so do you guys see how this one's more of like an oval shape? And then the one in the air currently is more of a round shape. And this one's slightly smaller and a little off white. So this is actually exactly what I was wanting. So 
so you guys saw me get a tree this morning. It's been about two hours since I got the tree, put it in here and swapped the lamp shade or the light shade. I've been sitting in here wondering what the issue was and it was a tree. Like you guys, the green tree, how fluorescent of a green, which I don't know if you can really see, but it is such a bright green color. And against the red curtains, it was just clashing. It really was so Christmassy, like red and green. And I swapped it out and let me share with you guys what I swapped it out for. Okay, so I did something a little chicer. I love this. So I grabbed the pedestal that we spray painted yesterday and then Jordan already had this vase in a bookcase so I just took it out of there and I added a couple of branches from outside with this really beautiful like burgundy color leaf on it and I think it just looks so much more elevated in this corner. I like it a lot more than the tree. And at this point of the apartment really all that's left is the decor which I'm just going to be adding. I got a couple throw pillows at Target this morning and just picked up a couple of items and I also rummaged all of my home decor at home and like I had all of these pieces from past makeovers I think these all are from Crate and Barrel. I grabbed this lamp I grabbed this which I got from Facebook Marketplace a while back So this was actually a thrifted lamp I recently got this shade at the thrift store and I got the lamp base at the thrift store as well for like a couple of dollars If you guys remember back on Instagram So I'm just gonna style up a little bit and just play around with the colors and decor in here Stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away. Show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? I wonder. I'm actually going to keep the tree, false alarm. I love it in this corner. So I actually swapped completely opposite corners. So the corner over here is the one with the vase and the branches. And then this corner, I'm gonna do the fiddly fig. Now there is a heater here, but they never turn it on ever. You really never use heat in LA. And if for some reason they decide to, it can just be pulled away, um, even swapped over to the corner. But I think I'm going to go ahead and actually put a little nail in the wall and just kind of, prop this up a bit more because it's kind of leaning quite a bit. And then they also told me, which I didn't know this, but with fiddle leaf figs, you're actually supposed to keep them in the grow pot for about a year until they acclimate to their new environment because they don't like being changed around a lot. So I'm just gonna trim the top of the grow pot so it looks like it's in the pot itself. styling up those little built and shelves, it was time to share the apartment with you guys. It is complete and finished. Now, for this particular makeover, I didn't get a reveal with Jordan just because our schedules just really didn't align up well to do one. However, I hope that you guys love this space and I cannot wait to share it with you.